Hello. I'm Jazz. It's currently 10 o'clock and today I'm going to film a vlog of just a day in Saigon. I'm going to take my GoPro around with me everywhere that I go today. The first thing I'm going to do is jump in the shower and meet my friend Camilla for coffee because I need coffee. Good, thank you. Hello. So we have spent far too long having coffee and now we're gonna go get nails done. This is FYI, not something that we do on a generic day, yeah. but they need doing so that's happening. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's gonna rain. Hi. Uh, well, I'm good. <laughs> this knee flap is a real problem. I'm gonna have to do something about this. Okay, so I think it's gonna rain, but the nail place that we're going to is actually quite far away anyway, so we're gonna grab an Uber when we get to the top of this road. Ah, here comes the rain. Show me your toes. Show me your toes. Show me your toes. <laughs> Too close. Okay, ready? No. Deep breath. Can I just, like, you have a death grip on this chair right now. <laughs> now we are really, really, really hungry. So we're gonna go to our favorite place to have lunch in District 2. Oh my God. <gasps> we're basically swimming right now. Okay, so this is Simple Place. This is the menu. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you. See you soon.
we are now going to district one to go shopping the place where we're going is really really cool it's basically old apartment buildings and in each apartment is a little boutique shop and it's quite reasonably priced and the clothes are really cool so i'm looking forward to going through that but we have to swim to get there because it's rainy season and we're in saigon so that happens never mind here we are outside the awesome hidden gem shopping place it's in these apartments up here so basically you have to walk through this little car park and then there's some stairs at the back and you go up the stairs and you can find all the shops okay stairs lots and lots of stairs I touch it. Yeah. it it's furry. <laughs> when you finally see yourself in a full length mirror and you worry that people might think you got dressed in the dark this morning. What am I wearing? It says, lost unicorn, if found, please stop doing drugs. Oh, this is Saigon Swagger. So I love, love, love this brand. This is, this is awesome. It's a glittery lead. I feel like it might be one of those leads that's set on fire though. Do you know what I mean? Hello, little friend. Hello. This is probably one of the most useful things that you can have if you're going to be in Saigon during the rainy season. Waterproofing mobile phone shell and I don't know, I think the watermelons are really cute but they have other ones. Two? I think I'm going to get it. It's like 70,000. So there's, there's a box of nipple pads right there. And then Camilla just picked up these and showed me. And I, I thought they were nipple stickers, like decorative nipple pads. But they're not, they're temporary tattoos, which is far more boring, but probably more useful. Now, we're walking to the front where there's a whole other set of shops. So the only thing about 
these kind of shops and actually a lot of shopping places in Saigon is that they don't really stock a very good range of sizes. They have small, medium, sometimes they have large, but their large is like a western medium, would you say? Yeah. Like, and their small is super small. Just was telling Camilla about something that I think is really, really interesting. Here, it seems to be a real trend for couples or for best friends or a group of friends to all wear the same outfit or to wear this, like matching shoes or matching tops or whatever. And there are actual stores, like shops, that are dedicated to couples' clothing or matching clothing. And I find it really interesting because at home, you know, we spend a long time kind of trying to make sure that we're wearing something different to everybody else. Anyway, Camilla and I keep buying the same, the same stuff, so I was just telling her, don't worry, in Vietnam it's actually okay, we can do that. Are we done? We have another floor. We are not done. But we did just both buy the Kat Von D tattoo liner for 300,000, which is a really good price. I think I actually don't know how much it costs, but I'm assuming it's going to be more than nice. that. So I think I'm going to wrap this up here. We're very tired, we've been walking around all day and getting Ubers around all day. So thank you for watching if you've made it this far and I will see you in my next video.